Hi, I'm Darlene and welcome to Heartfelt Crochets by Darlene. Okay, so I didn't realize that I was so out of the loop. My daughter gave me a call and she said, Mom, I'm going to send you this picture because I really want you to make me these. And I'm like, what? I never heard of such a thing. These things. These are wasp nest decoys, in case you've never heard of them either. These supposedly will keep wasps 20 feet away from wherever you hang these because wasps are very territorial. They don't want to fight, so they stay at least 20 feet away from another nest and, you know, make another one. So wherever you want these, if you have a back deck, a front deck, a garage, any place where you have a problem with wasp and you want to keep wasp away, hang one of these things. I decided that I was going to go on to YouTube and see if I could learn a little bit about it. And that's where I learned everything that I just told you. Now, most every wasp nest that I've seen, whether it's in a tree or in the corner of a house, it's always close in like it's you know it has to be attached so these handles are very small so that when you hang them up they're going to be close to the building um it's very loose so that if you want you can just maneuver the stuffing a little bit to make it look more realistic because wasp nests are perfect and they're full of little dents and holes and it narrows down at the bottom just as a wasp nest would um, with the hole that they enter. You can squish that up if you feel like it and make it a little more realistic. So yeah, also these are machine washable. Um, if you get a lot of rain, just throw them in the washing machine, but if you don't get a lot of rain, then try to wash them at least once a year, and then just throw them in the dryer. They're good to go. What a neat gift. Spring is here. Um, what a neat sell. I mean, um, I'm gonna, if you, if you have craft shows in the spring, people are getting ready for uh, their summer events. I did wanna show you one other thing. The pattern that I found on Etsy and printed out for this had a more intricate stitch. So it took a lot longer, which would end up costing more for the customer. So this, this stitch was in the third loop. And if you don't know what that means, um, you have that V on the top of your stitch. And if you go just behind it and down just a little bit, there's another little loop and that's the third loop. It's harder to get at. It takes patience. It takes a lot more time. So I went ahead and instead of using that third loop, I went into the back loop only and it was a lot faster, which put the price of this one down to half. And I also omitted four rows so that it was a lot smaller in size. So you can play with it, make them large, make them smaller, go for it and try to sell the more expensive ones because they are they are very pretty. That stitch is a very pretty stitch. It, it looks a lot like a wasp's nest. So does this one, but you can see the difference. One's just a little prettier. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have um, a tutorial on how to make the smaller version. I'm going to show you how to do the third loop stitch as well as just go ahead and do it in the back loop. So if you have any, con let me know if you knew about this decoy, wasp nest decoy thing. If I was like one of the few that was out of the loop, comment below, let me know. And if you liked this video, if you felt that it was helpful and informative, that, and then you, that you learned something today, Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. 
that is very, very helpful in supporting my channel so that I can continue uh, teaching you and crocheting with you. Thank you all and you have a wonderful day. Bye.